Yeah, okay, now now we're back with this. Uh, so, yeah, I remember now. I actually saved it to a different part of the PS3 file sa uh, save system. We're back. Yeah, we back, bitches. Yeah, cheese. I think I'm missing a gun. What else is there? Submachine gun? Yeah, yeah, I already got the submachine gun. I have the pistols. Wait, right, rebellion? You have the big spanking paddle? Okay, now I remember. We were actually stuck on a different save file, and we're missing one of the swords. Um, I, I, I think we've got everything. We have a shotgun, we have a missile launcher, submachine guns. There's only guns. four guns. Yeah, because I thought there were five guns in total. There's not enough room on the screen for an extra slot. The hunter will learn to feel with a leap of faith. Feel what? I don't know if I like this. <laughs> Show us on the doll, Dante. We know we tried to get Nick back or King uh, King Nick. You want to know how the conversation happened? King Nick. <laughs> yeah, that's what he calls himself. <laughs> King Nick sixty nine. He calls himself God. Pretentious prick. He calls himself Yggdrasil. Gazunheit. Based on the tree. Hey, look, it's Hihachi. <laughs> <laughs> No, but I, I was trying to get him back, and he was on the highway when I called, and I asked him if he could bring his stuff, and I was like, and he was like, why? And I said, for like, for good measurement, uh, like, because we don't want to get fucked with our sound recording again, because in the past, we did this with two laptops, uh, two, yeah, two computers, and he was like, okay, I don't know what you're talking about, I, I don't know what you mean by fucking a people with what ruler, uh, because he was on the highway overhearing all the traffic. I was like, fuck it, just don't bring anything. Just meet us up at the comic book store. Because we need back up. Yes, we got to taste some delicious Japanese snacks at our local comic book store. Tate's Comics of yeah. Fort Lauderdale. What, Come and join us. Something. What did they have besides the snow cracker, the umaga? I can't remember. They had an uh, unagi pretzel, a another kind of pretzel stick, the snow cracker, which I affectionately re referred to as the cocaine cracker. It looked like it was covered in coke. Um, what else? Aloe soda, which I thought was gonna taste like ass, but it was actually really good. Did I just get caught into a warp? Oh! Just, oh I just went Mario! You just got teleported, bitch! I went freaking Mario on this! This guy thinks he's Doctor Doom, he just snaps his fingers and shit happens. Uh, They're getting bodied right now. Okay, I thought I just saw like a pre-judgment cut, like a pre-future... Nah, whatever. This game takes place like, way deep in the timeline. Fuck it. This is actually the last sequel before 4, was it? Yeah, yeah, this is the last game. Because it goes 3, 1, 2, 4, doesn't it? Yeah, the later later games. But And then another one we won't mention. Exactly. <laughs> For good measure. Yeah, but this is the last game in the The first line. rule of reboots is you don't talk about reboots. Yeah, like, even if this is not Kamiya's game, it's the last game in the timeline to make you... To, to acknowledge the fact that he did exist. It was the first actual sequel in the storyline before 4, and there was a big gap between yeah, with the, those two games. Yeah, with the other ones, but Devil May Cry 2, it's like, why couldn't you just make a sequel afterward and, and just forget that this existed, you know, kind of like the Dark Knight Rises. They were talking about the that, Joker. like, for a while when DMC 4 was coming out, that there was rumors that they were just going to ignore that this game ever happened. What came out of that? Nothing. It, it was never removed from canon, but it's never it, it's never really referenced or acknowledged in uh, DMC4. They don't mention Lucia's name or any of the bosses or events from this one. So for all intents and purposes, it's removed just because they didn't mention anything. Yeah. It's kind of like that red-haired stepchild. You don't talk about it. You just keep him in the bit in the attic and feed him baby roofs every once in a while. Okay, I cannot see his gauge, but even though I don't like the camera in this game, I like the way that it moves, that it auto aims. Why don't you switch to submachine guns? Oh, so easier? he teleports away. Oh. Yeah, I'll move over to the submachine gun. Here's your boomstick. Love he's just chilling at the bar. Yeah, like I, I like how he's not trying. He to has an absolutely no fucks to give, and he's he's shooting at his own monster. He's not even shooting at you. Either a badly programmed AI is what's going on here, or this game knows how to be condescending directly to the player. Not even gonna fire at you. Nope, I'm just gonna you sit see, down. Ca see, Capcom will all, always were dicks. <laughs> I'm a CEO. I don't have to do anything but lounge around and enjoy my freaking corporate office. Hmm, is this a reference to the upper management at Capcom? Oh. <laughs> it wouldn't surprise me. Who is the C who is the CEO in charge of Capcom right now? I don't know his I name. I don't know his name either. But he's an old guy. He's like sick he's like a little over sixty. Got a lot of great, he's got a lot of great hair. He's got a lot of great hair. I meant gray hair. No homo. I'm sorry. I was just channeling the Fairly Odd Parents for some reason in that sure. one episode where they had the cake 
and mm -hmm. Timmy Turner tried to make it for his family. Wh which one was it? Oh, no. His dad tried to make it for the mother, uh, or... His, yeah, the mother made it, and it was pink one moment, and then it just became... Oh, gray. yeah, because she couldn't cook. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it came out of it the... It was cool, and it's great. It's like, great! <laughs> Remember the one where it's like... There was that running joke in the show. Where did you get that, um, internet? To explain all the crap that he got from his fairly godparents. That was a pretty good excuse, though. It was. It would hold up today. Tell me I'm pretty! <laughs> like every girl on the internet. Tell me I'm pretty! Okay, let, let's... Whoa! He just activated Ouroboros. This okay. scene directed by... Oh, this scene directed by Michael Bay. No. And also Batman. Starring Christian Bale. <laughs> Dante! Oh, no, no. No, seriously, no. you could tell, you could not tell the difference between Dante and Batman at that one particular instance. It'd be great if he was in DT because then he'd be black with giant bat wings. He did go DT though, like just now. Ranking bonus, yeah. Okay, so the ranking system in this game is still fucking flawed, and I'll tell you why. First, we did a good time with the boss battle, what, 2 minutes 42 seconds. We didn't use any items. Damage, it's hard. It's really difficult to prevent. You can't it. combo in this game, really. Yeah. Not even close to other iterations. That's, even the first one. That's more about the stylish average. Because you can't do anything here. It's kind of like if, if you're in the Smash Brothers, if you play uh, Smash Brothers Melee compared to Brawl, in Brawl, the characters are so slow and floaty, you can't combo like you did in Melee. There's yeah. no not really any combos in Brawl, and, which is one of the many reasons I don't like that game. I like that game. They Only next these? Only when we use items. Why did you say that? Because everybody tries you to play it. You mean when we when we just when we just ignore we just go complete bullshit? Yeah, everybody tries to play it like it's a fucking tournament scene game. I am. Melee is a tournament scene game. Brawl is not. Nintendo did everything in their power to make sure it wouldn't be. Yeah, but actually, I did love Super Smash Brothers. The second one was just Melee, Melee. Like GameCube. Yeah. The N64 one was cool too. I even to, though it was busted as balls. I used to play like 170 hours with my friends when we were when we were kids, and I used oh, to man. I used to unlock Mr. What was it, Game and Watch or Mr. Yeah. Hand? Mr. Game and Watch. Yeah. Master Hand was the boss. Yeah, you the, could never unlock him. The freaking. Pre I always remember there was a rumor back in the day that you could unlock <laughs> Sonic and Melee. Yeah, the freaking <laughs> prerequisites for that game were boss. Yeah, Four lights will open the door to the future and the past. Oh, yeah. This is the rehash that we have to do. Everything's purple! Remember when we said everything in Devil May Cry always has a like a rehash near the end? Yes, because we were discussing how DMC4 was a good game. But, um... The uh, well, let's just focus on 1 and 2, DMC4. We can we can rant about that during the playthrough. Alright, well, yes, we will, we will do a pray for... Yeah, because uh, I, I tend not to recycle the same information. On oh, here. man, I can't get it. Yeah, you have to use double trigger to fly. Oh, right. That's why those enemies are there, and they'll continuously respawn. They're there to build up your meter. And we'll definitely have to go back and show everyone where the Merciless Sword is, because uh, I don't know how we went through this without, like, making a mark. Without grabbing it. Oh, don't forget, if you swing the sword, if you lunge Dante forward, you can actually cause multiple knockbacks of enemies. Like, you can knock one back. It's like a bowling pin effect. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's like Domino's. The thing is a nice touch. Dominoes. Speaking of dominoes, why don't we have that discussion? Dominoes. You know, dominoes. Oh, right! Yeah. Yeah, Domino's, you need a dick. Yeah, we tried to order... A big, fat one. We tried to order a pizza when we were attempting this playthrough. We yeah. Had to, yeah, yeah, first and first off, we call, like, oh, we, uh, we'd like the two medium pizzas for five ninety nine deal. We're out of medium pizzas. How the fuck are you out of medium pizzas? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So I'm like, alright, you can give me a large one at that price. And, and they then, gave us the large, and it looked like a medium. Th that was the most pathetic-looking large pizza ever. If that's a large, I hate to see what their medium is. So after that whole debacle, an hour and a half later, one dumbass calls us. Did I have to hit that orb? Yeah, that's the point. Uh, how did it let me go through then? You... No, you can go through because oh, you're... Okay. it's the adventure field. Right. Just have to double trigger so, yeah, and so then round trip. One dumbass calls me and is like, "Oh, I'm leaving now. Uh, where's your house?" Or you know, or... and there you go. Oh, so I just go DT. Um, actually, yeah, jump, go DT, and then hit L one or R one and, and the jump button. Which one is DT? Okay. Uh, L2? L R L1. Try L1. Yeah, there now jump. Go. Yeah, okay, keep going. Whoa. What? Okay. Go to it. Go to it, though. Okay. I am. Like, you gotta be directly in ah, front of crap. it. Ah, crap. Actually, maybe you can just jump and hit it in the air. That's what I'm trying. Yeah, oh, there just, you go. Yeah, just jump and Helmbreaker it. <laughs> so it's like Virgil in Marvel. Just jump and Helmbreaker. 
my god. Speaking of fighting games, imagine if this Dante had actually made it into Soul Calibur. And, and we discussed that part, but we did Wouldn't mention- saying how much Domino sucks, though? Oh, well, yeah, that's true. That's true. So, yeah, one person calls and says, Oh, where's your house? And, um, we tell them. Then, like, 20 minutes later, still nothing. We call the place back, and they're like, Oh, nobody left yet. The guy's leaving now. Then what the hell did that other person call us for? So, another 20 minutes later, like, Oh, we'll throw in a free Coke. Finally, the jackass shows up with our pizza. Okay, now I'm going to talk about Soul Calibur. Uh, Dante could have fought Spawn. You you think that Spawn would own Dante? I don't know what to say because I've only briefly read the character. Yeah, Spawn is, um, he's kind of like Superman in the fact that they made him really, really overpowered for the sake of the story. Uh, this is actually a boss room, and you're not you're not supposed to do anything here. You're supposed to come back when you've lit all three oh, orbs, okay. three or four. Like you have to leave. I have to leave this room yeah. entirely. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah, because you have to go around the field. This is actually a dead end. Oh, there was more to that area? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see anything. Yeah, we're, we're retreading. Well, I wouldn't give for a run button in these games, honestly. Like, just hold down X so I can run. I think that would be really good. Yeah, in the first game you can't run, the second game you can't run. Like, holding down the jump button in order to run. Oh, wait, we do have a blue health orb. Like, it's right there. Where? If you can let me grab it. It's... Right there, it's that little blue... You could mistake it for a shoot for a star if you wanted to. I do the wall star. run. Okay, over here. I think mean, you have to do the wall run. No, I mean like, yeah, get on that other platform and wall run across. Or jump across there. Straight. Yeah, yeah. Or maybe I could lunge forward and leap across the edge. That Can you lunge here. in this game? No, I, I don't think that came up until later. But it's there. No, no. Alright, you try it. Anyway, continue what you were saying. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was talking about... But I'm sorry, I lost my place. Oh, there you go. You got him. Oh, because I thought you had to jump off the platform and grab the blue ore. Nope, that's what it looked like. Okay, now... Ah, my head hit the, hit the sky. Uh, so, yeah, there's actually a divided pathway. You're coming back from one, but there's going to be... You're going to run into another area to your left. Ah, okay. Yeah. Actually, there is no right or wrong turn except for that door. And that door. <laughs> There's no wrong way, but you still did it wrong. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I was thought where, where was I? Because I lost my place. I, I remember Spawn. And, like, About Dante. Spawn versus Dante. Yeah. Because Dante almost made it into Soul Calibur 2, if you believe the rumors. Mm -hmm. But he didn't make the cut, unfortunately. And I don't see, what, like, how not. Was I be... think, well, I think it's because, uh... Astaroth was designed by Todd McFarlane, so I think he had more say in the end. You know what I mean? Kind of like how in Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, um, well actually in, Te in Tekken 6, Lars' alternate outfit was designed by Masashi Kishimoto, the uh, author of Naruto. So in Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm 2, Lars was an unlockable character. If I remember right, you have to actually get onto the roof to find the next orb, because they'll keep respawning. Oh, really? Yeah. It's only when you take out the orb and light it up uh, that they'll stop coming after you. Yeah, I'm still gonna back up and shoot, though. Infinite ammo! I feel sorry for all those boys and whoever purchased them. Hey, I don't have to clean the place up. Yeah, because Dante doesn't buy his own weapons. They're, they're given to him. Yeah. By force. Is that all you were going to say about Soul Calibur and Dante vs. Spawn? Yeah, Dante vs. Spawn. Unfortunately, the closest thing might end up as a machinima death battle. Not that I have much of a problem with those things, but to actually see it in canon in a game... like Would have been freaking awesome. It would have been. Plus, I think Dante is a character that could really work in Soul Calibur because he's all weapons. It would make sense. Yeah, to see Dante in a 3D fighter. I mean, it, as a 3D awesome. character. Like, I, he, could, he could fit in that world. Absolutely. Give him a weapon chain so he can use his different weapons, kind of like in Marvel, but they stay out. Yeah. You know? Each weapon would have its own pluses and minuses and, you know, pros and cons, shit like that. He was going to wear this attire in that game, I believe, because he isn't Because Shin... that's around the time Soul Calibur 2 came out when this game came out. Yeah. It also could have something to do with the fact that this game flopped. I don't know. Uh, he had a partnership, let me see, with Atlas, Diesel... And yeah, it was pretty close to it. What was it at the time? Was it still Namco? Soul Calibur 2? Back in the day? Uh, it's still Namco. They're just Namco Bandai now. Yeah. 
reabsorb Digi- They absorb Digimon, my favorite- one of my favorite properties. You know, I- I used to own the classic- Are you the right way? Yeah. I think- yeah, you missed one, though. Actually, no, no, you're- you're on- you're almost there. Just keep going. Jump down? Yeah, keep going down into the witch and hello. Hello. So you can kill all of them and refill your devil trigger. That's what I'm aiming for. The following this game is really bad. Yeah, the moves aren't properly coordinated. And it's, it's more than the lock-on. All you have to do to be able to combo is to just continuously hit. It doesn't matter what you do. It just matters whether or not their distance is kept more close to you. And the only the only great positive like comment I can give about the guns... Uh, like, At least they're useful. Yeah, you can bridge between the combos so you'll never drop your ranking in battle. You could pretty much do that in all the other ones, though. Yeah, but this is the first one that adopted it in Devil May Cry. In the first I, I would say this is the only one where you pretty much have to if you want to keep your combo yeah. going because your combo options are so limited. In the first game, guns don't do shit for you except take out the enemy. <laughs> guns don't kill people, but they sure help. <laughs> yeah. Dante is the only one who can get away with gun like not abiding to gun control. <laughs> yeah. yeah, try to take Dante's guns away from him. See how well that ends up for you. Mm. Like trying to tell Batman to do something. Not gonna work out well. Are you sure I'm going the right way? Yeah, to your left. That it's supposed to be down here. Actually, we'll we'll cut the video here. All right. Next time on Dragon Ball Z. Dante Ball Z. Yeah.